Today I'm going to show you how I make my homemade chili. So make sure you stick around. First, let's start by chopping our vegetables. We're going to saute these in our pot. So make sure you rinse all of your vegetables before you begin to chop them down. And we're just going to roughly chop them for this recipe. When you get to your bell pepper, you can discard that inner core of the pepper, throw that out. I'm using my power quick pot and I'm going to brown my meat at this point here. If you don't have a power quick pot, you can do this on your stove top. You just want to cook this meat until it's no longer pink. Try not to chop it down too small. We do want this meat to be slightly chunky. Also, after you remove the meat from your pot, leave a small amount of fat in there. We're going to need that to saute our vegetables. Cook these until those onions are slightly translucent and now we're going to season it with the spices and herbs. I'm using chili powder, cumin, coriander, oregano, brown sugar, pepper, smoked paprika, basil, and thyme leaves. So now you're going to cook this until those spices become very very fragrant. This should only take about three minutes. Next, add in those diced tomatoes along with their juices. Then you're gonna add the tomato sauce and the chicken broth. And now we're gonna add our canned beans, okay? Make sure you rinse them off first. Also, you're gonna add your ground beef back in the pot. And at this point here, you would add your Worcestershire sauce and you would add your bay leaf down in there as well. So now we're gonna cover it with the lid. I'm gonna select the slow cooker feature on a low setting for six hours with a temperature of 195 Fahrenheit. After about four hours, now I'm gonna check on the chili and I'm gonna add some salt. You're gonna salt this to taste. I will leave the measurement that I used for salt, but I highly recommend that you salt this to your own taste. So I let this cook for a total of six hours. So this is what my chili looks like. I didn't add any cayenne pepper. So if you want your chili to have some spice, you can add I would say about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and just work your way up from there. You can also use sliced fresh jalapenos or serrano peppers and you'd want to saute that with your vegetables. So let's start on the rice. Okay, this is very simple. I'm adding about two cups of rice to three cups of boiled water. Mix it well and then I'm gonna reduce the heat Cover it with the lid and let this simmer on low for about 10 minutes. In the last five minutes, I'm gonna turn the heat totally off. So now we're gonna plate this up. I'm gonna add this rice to a ramekin. Then I'm gonna transfer it to this bowl and scoop some chili and put it on top. Scoop some chili, put it on top of the rice. So I hope that you all will try this recipe. You are gonna love this recipe, the simplicity of it, the flavor of it, everything was just so spot on and so good okay so drop me a comment down below let me know what you think and i hope to catch you in my next video